Access granted. Please enter. Hey, it's Jill Monroe for EUR Web, and we are live on the red carpet for the 13th annual African American Film Critics Association Awards. This is the first time it's back live and in person in two years. We're going to talk to all the celebrities that hit the carpet. Stay tuned, and we'll get you the scoop. How are you? I'm great, thank you. So you are presenting tonight. Tell me why it's important for you to make sure that you show up for um, things like the African American Film Critics Awards. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got to support our own, you know, we got to recognize our own. And, you know, often we look uh, for validation in other places and we expect other people to recognize us. And like, that's not what matters. Uh, if it happens, cool. But like what matters is the people that we're telling stories for. And I think, it, you know, Africa does an amazing job of recognizing folks who are telling authentic stories about our community. Uh, and, and, and bringing them here to give them their flowers. And it's, you know, I'm excited to be a part of that. You know, you went to an HBCU, right, Clark? Clark Atlanta. So there we are showing up. So what does it also feel like as an alumni of an HBCU to then to go on, portray that on screen, and you are the star? Absolutely. I mean, I think it's important just to tell real stories. You know what I mean? Like, what I constantly keep pushing is the thought of, you know, being at an HBCU is just a scene or just a part of the script, but it wasn't. It was my actual life. And I think that black people deserve the opportunity to tell our stories, not just what was wrong, like done to us, but also the beauty, the magic, the, the sci-fi or, or the make-believe. You know what I mean? But I'm excited to be able to tell a story that I actually lived and to show these kids this is real and these spaces and these journeys are real. And if they go to these spaces and journeys, then they have that support because they are able to see themselves and reflected like on the screen, you know? So it's really important to me. And I'm grateful. Again, just walking in gratitude right now. Full circle. Well, first of all, congratulations oh, thank you so for the much. Sherry Show coming oh, up. We you. are very excited. Is it real, Lord? Is it real? <laughs> it's real. Sherry. Oh my gosh, thank you. So, what does it feel like to finally be sitting in your own seat of your own show, just you, for all, everything that you put into this business? It's very surreal because I did my very first pilot for a talk show in 2004. So, 18 years later, uh, a lot of no's of people telling me that I wasn't able to sit on the couch and talk. I came out of my mom's womb talking. And uh, it just really shows me God's timing. It really says to me, you know, sometimes it's not no, it's just not yet. So to see God's timing in this and, be, and God ordaining this, I'm just in awe. But why is it important for you to show up at events like this for the African American Film Critics Association? I know there's a lot of demand for your time, but why give your time to this? Um, that's a really good question. Then I would just say because I'm a black man and I'm living in Hollywood and I need to support my people. You know, we got to support when we, when we can, every time that we can. And so for me to be here is around a lot of my peers, around a lot of people that I respect is a really good thing and a really important thing. You've been in this business for a minute and I'm so glad that you are publicly getting your flowers for everyone. So what is this experience like being honored from the African American Film Critics Association and being nominated for an Oscar? Well, this it's why I do what I do. This is why I do what I do because, um, you know, I want to make I want to I want to show a reflection of, of black womanhood. So for black women and black men to feel like I'm I'm doing that effectively, it means everything to me. Everything. Busy. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. What are you doing for self care? Ooh, self-care looks like a good spa day that includes a massage, a mani, a pedi, and a really good book, and some silence and quiet time to myself. So how much are you getting to enjoy that right now? Because you're so busy, you have projects back to back. <laughs> I'm actually, this week is pretty light. I just finished a run on Broadway last week in Skeleton Crew. Um, so I'm just, I'm getting some downtime, some much needed downtime right now before things pick up again. You're being honored tonight by the African American Film Critics Association. What does it mean to be honored by an association that is for people of color? Um, it's a really big honor to be acknowledged for the hard work that this company, Sony, does uh, for the community. Uh, 
it takes it takes a village. It's not just me. I represent the company. I represent Japan. And the wonderful thing is that Sony's value system makes what I do not only a wonderful job, but vital to Sony's business. We want to tell stories that represent the world we live in. We want to entertain for audiences that really see these movies. Um, so it's a great honor to be acknowledged for this hard work that we're all doing at Sony. That I did the rewind back, it's my favorite movie. I ran it back and watched it again. So I know you had the vision, but did you have the vision that it would be honored in this type of way that your people would respond to it in this way. I know you did, but talk to me about the feeling of seeing it coming to fruition. You get as much vision as you can have. It's nothing like when it happens, right? Because it just exists in your head. But you know your people are going to respond to it in a way they're going to respond because, because, you, because what I've been missing, they've been missing. Even if people think they don't like Westerns, why new people respond to it is because the majority of people I speak to, they say they don't like Westerns. And I happen to know that they do. They just haven't been nourished in the, in the right way. And then God just made me come with the nourishment. So I knew that when I, when I put us in the light that we need to be, to be placed in, when I show our women the way our women need to be shown, while all the men are having gunfights, the women put down the guns, let's go, and have a fisticuffs. When I show the swag of black men on the horses and black women on the horses, I knew how we're going to respond to it. It's me. And when you drop the music in there, just to take it, the cherry. Come on. So when, like when I start cooking melodically, I go, I go, go. I go super hard. So I, I knew that like we've just never had that gumbo before. But we belong there. I didn't remix the western. Hollywood did. Hollywood just gave us a, a viewpoint of the old west that did not exist. One in four cowboys was black. Right? And we've always been swagged out. We've always been musical. Like, man, show us in the way, show us in the way that we've been, sh that we need to be shown, or don't show us at all. Don't tell me we were slaves in the old west. It's a lie. You know what I mean? So we just needed to see it the way we needed to be seen. Thank you so much for your time. I'm voicing sequel to you. Sequel, uh, sequel, sequel. It's award season. You are obviously at this point part of a classic film. <laughs> and you've been talking about it so much. What does it feel like now that you're fully embedded into award season, you're seeing these different things, how does it feel internally? I mean, that's gotta feel a little crazy, right? <laughs> it's exciting. I mean, I love award season. It's my favorite time. And I don't know, getting to be amongst my peers, it's, it's something so special about it. You know, you get to be around other actors that love it. So yeah, it's good to make new friends. And I'm excited. I love all the films this year. So We are looking further down the line. So what can we see next from you? Is it too soon for me to be asking that? Are you still basking no, in the no, love no, no, of that? No. I have an HBO limited series dropping next uh, month uh, with David, uh, David Simon and George Pelicanos back in Baltimore after The Wire 20 years later. So that's, uh, that's going to be a banger of a show. And then I'm directing the Bob Marley biopic. So uh, that's, uh, that'll hopefully be at the end of the year. Well, thank you so much for your time. I have to talk about your fashion choice because you are laid. I like the patent leather touches. You look amazing. Thank you. So you're being honored tonight. What is it like in 2022 to be a woman, a woman of color in the film industry? I think being a woman in this world is always crazy, right? But being a woman of color and in this industry, it's, oh, you're always fighting, you know what I mean? But you, as long as you just kind of fight with your own self, stay confident, right? And make sure you know your past doesn't define you. And everybody has done so much work before us, you know what I mean? And so it's now my job to pay it forward, and I'm always here to bring the ladder up. Granted, please enter.